Hello guys, my name is Kalash Kala and welcome to my second video of C++ programs. Now in this video I will be showing you guys a program which calculates compound interest using the simple interest method. First we have to declare some variables. So the variables in this program are TCI which stands for total compound interest. The data type of TCI is a float because the value of TCI can be in decimals. For those who don't know what float is, it's a data type which can accept decimal data as its value. After variable TCI, variable P comes which stands for principal. R stands for rate and T stands for time whose value is 1 because while calculating compound interest using the simple interest method the time taken is 1 as every year the principal is changing and at last S stands for uh, the amount of time. Next we will use a series of C ins and C outs to receive data from the user. After all this, the loop comes. In this program, we will be using the for loop. In the highlighted brackets of the for loop, we declare a variable v whose value is 0. Then we pass a test which is uh, till the time v is less than s, run the loop. And then we increment the variable v, like it adds 1 to its value.
In the highlighted curly brackets, we declare variable si whose data type is float, whose value will be the formula which is p into r into t divided by 100. Then we display si on the screen uh, and the value which will be generated by that formula will be the value of si which later will be printed on the screen. In compound interest, as I had said before, the principal value changes by adding principal with the simple interest. To do so, we type in this, which tells that increment p by adding it si, such that p gets a new value. Later, we type TCI plus is equal to SI. Now this means that the value of TCI will be incremented like uh, SI, the value of SI will be added to TCI which gives a new value to TCI. Now every time the loop is running the value of P and TCI will be changing and also SI's value will be changing. At last we uh, print out TCI on the screen by typing The, prog the program is done and now let's run the program. Oops, some errors. Again. At last the program is working. Now uh, as you see here uh, these all 10 numbers are the compound interest which we get each year like this is for the first year this is for the second and etc. And at last the sum of them is this much which, I which will be the compound interest after 10 years. I hope this video was helpful for you and please do subscribe for more.